this look tasty to you? I doubt it. Even though we eat with our mouths, how the food looks is almost as important. If it doesn't look good, we're not going to buy it. It's very important for the food industry to make sure that the food they want us to buy looks as appetizing as possible for as long as possible. One of the biggest problems with fruit, vegetables and the products made from them is their tendency to go brown. A nicely brown loaf may be tempting, but a brown salad is not. The main cause of this sort of browning is the action of enzymes. This process is called enzymic browning. There are many different enzymes involved in this process, but the most important is called polyphenol oxidase. In the presence of oxygen, this enzyme converts phenols widely found in plants into quinones. These in turn are converted into brown pigments. You might be wondering why the fruit and vegetables don't go brown on their own. Phenols are mainly found in the cell vacuoles, while the enzymes are in the cytoplasm of the cell. As long as these phenols and enzymes are kept apart, there is no reaction. When you bite or cut into the fruit or vegetable, the phenols and enzymes mix and so, as long as there is oxygen there, the reaction begins. To reduce browning, food scientists need to slow down or stop these reactions. There are various ways to do this. You can freeze or blanch them. You can store them in an atmosphere without oxygen, but the most common methods use chemical treatment. And it is these chemical treatments for enzymic browning we will look at today. I'm sure you have all noticed that when you eat an apple, it goes brown very quickly. Today, we will look at some chemicals that affect the rate of enzymic browning of apples. To make it a fair test, you need to use the same amount of apple each time. We're putting 30 grams of chopped apple into five different beakers, each containing a different chemical. In distilled water, the reaction will proceed at a normal rate. Sodium sulfites react to remove oxygen in the water. Copper is an essential cofactor in the reaction. Thiourea is an inhibitor of polyphenol oxidase. It combines with copper a vital cofactor of the enzyme. The ascorbic acid solution lowers the pH, reducing the enzyme activity. It is also a reducing agent and reduces the quinones back to the phenols. Once in the solution, the apple is left for 30 minutes. Now let's look at the results. We take the apple out of the solutions and squash it to extract the juice. We then filter it to make sure no solid particles get through. You can clearly see that some of these liquids are more coloured than others. The thiourea, ascorbic acid and sulphite have slowed the process. These solutions are still quite pale. The apple in distilled water is noticeably brown. And the dilute copper sulphate solution is even more brown as the copper enables the enzyme to work more effectively. My job as a managed director of Ivan Wooden Sons is to every aspect of the business I suppose, but the uh, main thing is to produce the quality, where it's coming from, uh, where it's actually going, the sustainability in our company, make sure we're always keeping up good measures. Enzyme browning uh, relates to quite a few products in different ways. Um, we do obviously a varied amount of chopped fruit for a start and we actually treat the, treat the chopped fruit with uh, freshly squeezed orange juice. That's a great way of doing it, especially like say, your apples. Um, when you look at root vegetables, that's another one where we do fresh cut potato chips. Um, when we actually, when you, as soon as you start to chop up the potatoes, they're going to start browning off. But we treat them, uh, wash them in spring water, then we treat them with an organically approved uh, material, which is a, a powder. It's, it's very, very safe. There's no sodium metabisulfates in it. So it's uh, approved and then we spin dry them. Uh, so it stops the browning and we could get up to nine days shelf life on our root vegetables and for our fresh fruit we actually we using fresh orange juice and it's very natural. We get a four day shelf life on it and it looks just as fresh as the day it's been cut. The challenges for our, our company uh, on the skill shortage is, is not just there's actually every company in the catering trade for getting through but working with um, food technicians etc and with universities it makes our job a lot lot easier on the understanding of future development on the insect browning and controlling it. I love the biggest part is seeing success and getting good reports back from our customers um, and hearing obviously on TripAdvisor and things other places uh, about our quality of our produce, chefs, comments, compliments, uh, it makes us feel like we're doing our job proper. If you're considering a career in the uh, food science industry, go for it. It's worldwide, it's fantastic. You, there's so much to learn and you're learning every day because every day things change. Um, it's very interesting. Everybody loves food and 
go for it. You'll love it. I certainly have. <laughs>